In this video, we're going to learn about code blocks and code indentation in Python. So code blocks in Python are pieces of Python program source code that will execute as a unit. And we use code indentation to create these blocks. So for example, let's have a print function call with let's say ABC. And then we'll have an if statement with if five is greater than two and then colon. So now this call to print is going to occur no matter what. We want to create a block of code that's going to execute only if this condition is true. To create that block of code, we'll use code indentation. So we'll have here on the next line, space, 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 and then print. And we'll have five is greater than two. And this here is now part of a block of code. And this block of code is only going to execute when that condition is true. We could have multiple statements in this block of code if we indented them the same way. So we'll have space, 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 and then print two is less than five. And now both of these statements are part of the same block of code that's going to execute when that condition is true. So we could save our program and try it out. And we'll see that all three statements are going to execute. But these two statements here are part of a block of code that's going to execute as a unit. So for example, if this condition was false, if we had if one is greater than two, this condition is now false and this block of code is not going to execute. So we could save our program and try it again. And now we see that only the first print function call actually executes. So this block of code here executes as a unit. Now, what makes it a block of code is not only that it appears below this if statement here with the condition, what makes it a block of code is the indentation. So for example, if after the if statement, we had print and then done the if, and we saved this and ran it, we would get ABC and done the if. So because this condition is false, again, this block of code is not going to execute, but this print here is not part of this block of code. And it's because it's indented differently. So this statement here is indented with four spaces. And so it's part of this block of code. We could indent this by four spaces and make it part of this block of code. So if we put space, 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 space here and save this and then ran our program again, now we just get ABC. And that's because this statement here is now part of this code block. Now, when we use spaces to create a code block, we have to use the same number of spaces. So for example, if I used only three spaces here and I had space, 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 this is now not part of the same code block. We'll actually get an error as a result. So if we save the program and now try to run it, it says here indentation error. It says, unindent does not match any outer indentation level. So we need to use the same amount of spaces when indenting the statements for a block of code. It is possible to use the tab character instead of the space character to indent our blocks of code. So for example, let's say that we want these two print statements here to be part of a block of code. We could use tab and then tab. So the tab character is actually a different character than the space character. And how the text editor represents the tab character is really up to the text editor. That's one of the criticisms of using tabs instead of spaces. Because right now, if I move my cursor here from left to right, you'll see that we jump over about four characters of space. And what's happening here is that the tab character is being represented as about four characters of space. But really, there's only one tab character here. There's not four space characters here. So we could save this and run our program, and this will work. So we can use tabs instead of spaces to indent our code blocks. We don't want to mix tabs and spaces though. So for example, if for the statement here, I had four space characters instead of a tab character, even though it looks the same, if we save our program, and try it out, we'll get an error here. It says tab error, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation. So we can't mix the two. 
So what should we use, tabs or spaces? Using tabs versus using spaces is actually a bit of a fun meme and argument in the computer programming community. But that said, the Python style guides recommend that we use four spaces. So we could use any amount of spaces. We could have two spaces. So two spaces and two spaces, and we can save this and it will work. So it's up to us how many spaces we want to use. I've always liked two spaces personally, and apparently some companies use two spaces internally, but the Python community as a whole uses four spaces. So we should use four spaces. So we could have space space here and space space here and save our program and run it. And it's going to work. If we did create a code block within a code block, we would have to have another layer of indentation. So for example, if we wanted to have an if statement inside of this if statement, we could have here if two is greater than one, and then space, 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 print. And we could say new code block. So this here would be a new code block. And it's a code block that's defined within another code block. So we have another layer of indentation. We use another four spaces here, where we have one, two, three, four spaces after these four spaces. So we could save this and run it, and this will also work. Now a good modern text editor will often do a lot of this indentation for us automatically. Typically we can also set up the editor to insert space characters whenever we hit the tab key. So by hitting tab, we can actually insert multiple space characters at once. Instead of having to hit the space key multiple times each time that we want to indent our code. So this is how we can use code indentation to create code blocks in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.